Hey guys, so it is something after four. T2, tournament number two, South Holston. I'll be honest with you, I feel pretty good about this tournament. I hope my buddy Mike does. All I can say is I've had two days of practice with another friend of mine and uh, you know, sorry about that. I've actually uh, got on a couple of baits that I'm really, really happy with. Um, pretty much everyone, and I know you're not exactly seeing me here, is uh, on the same thing, which are bedding smallmouth. But uh, hopefully we can get on them. I'm going to have my opportunities, and the biggest thing about that is, is when you've got your opportunities, you have to capitalize. And... Let's hope I do, because if I capitalize today, there could be a check in the near future. All right, so it is 6.30. I'm waiting in line for my boater right now. Uh, I think launch is at seven. I think we're at 7.15. And uh, we've got a little bit of a hold up in the line. Uh, they're giving rain pretty much all day which the two days of practice out of practice before this tournament it's been rain so nothing new as you can see i'm in my rain gear already uh you know part of the deal we're just waiting in line Tournament number two is in the books. Uh, weighed in two small mouths, six pounds. I had three bites. Uh, you know me, I'm always catching one on a swim bait. Caught it out from under a dock. He was uh, about a quarter inch short, and man, I tried to stretch him. If I'd have stretched him anymore, I'd have pulled his backbone through his tail. Uh, I'm happy with that. You know, I'd be happier with a check or happier with, you know, five, but that puts me back on track for the ultimate goal which is to make the regionals at the end of the year now you guys know my buddy mike mike had two i believe yeah i had two i had two it was half inch short and lost two really good ones so you know uh i think what was it 21 when we left was leading on the boater side and maybe 17 on the co-angler yeah, side I, I think it was 17 and as a matter of fact hell i don't remember anyway i'll add in more i later. think four pounds something was leading big bass for co-angler huh i was a little bit short on that i had one that's just over three and one that's just under three like i said had six even all right so we're going to get out of here and uh probably get something to eat and go home drink a beer all right, so before I end the video, I wanted to talk with you about my setups and the two primary baits that I caught my three fish on in tournament number two. The first bait I actually used as a search bait, and that is a Major League Lures Boom Shad with a one and a half ounce ledge head in a four off. So I had this on a medium cherry wood that I'd bought years ago from Walmart and I've got it on a old um, Quantum PT reel. Again, I think I bought it like 10 years ago. It's a six three to one. So I caught my first fish and the non-keeper on this particular setup, he was about a quarter inch short, which is you know what I told you in the video, earlier in the video. 
And what I would actually do is my boater was actually fishing back behind docks and, and walkways, so in a marina. And it was really tight, so I would make long casts out and loop it over the corner of the boathouses and bring my rod tip down underneath of the floating boathouse and reel it at about three foot deep and that's where I got my first bite. So the two keepers came on this bait. The two keepers came on the Z-Man's Ned Rig. Now I had the 532nd head and the three, I don't even remember, it's basically the three inch, the standard Ned Rig setup. Now I did have the, the uh, weed guards on my head and the reason why is because the smallmouth would spawn on a lot of shell or slate rock. So the weed guards prevented me from getting hung up a lot of times in that slate or shell rock. So I fished this bait on a seven foot two medium power creature rod. It's a spinning combo and I had it on a Sierra 25 FE Shimano reel and uh, boated both of my fish, great hook set. Uh, I was fishing it on eight pound fluorocarbon with a 15 foot leader to 20 pound. Uh, this is just a yellow, I believe Bass Pro Shop version. And I'll have to give it to Bass Pro Shop. This was the first time that I used this particular braid and it was extremely smooth. I'm gonna start using that braid as my back and on all of my spinning reels now. All right, as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You know I love to talk fishing with you guys. I'm gonna throw this out here because this is the end of the video. If we get to 3,000 subscribers, I will do a massive giveaway. If we get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So get people in and get them subscribed. That being said, like it if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe. You guys rock.